Back on January 30th, Randy and Roselle Catholic played in a game that featured a long list of future college stars and three McDonald's All-Americans. There were plenty of roars from the sold out crowd, but the biggest ovation of all was at halftime. Max Holden, two years old and battling pediatric neuroblastoma, stole the show. Max is a fighter. He's probably the toughest kid in the world. Um, and for him to be honored like that in, in one of the biggest games in New Jersey, uh, it was a really special moment, um, something he deserves for the way he's been fighting. And uh, it just felt awesome to have the, the whole state rally behind us in support. He's, he's a remarkable kid, and I'm not just saying that because he's my son, but watching all the stuff that he's going through um, and how hard he fights, and then they come out on the other end with a smile all the time has been, it's been outstanding. It's a credit to him as a, as a kid and a person, um, but he's, an, he's just a remarkable kid. The son of Randy coach Taj Holden began his battle just before the start of last season's playoffs, and it's ongoing. As the Panthers play the highest level of high school basketball, there's perspective that their battles on the court pale in comparison to real life. Coach Hodge uh, came with us his freshman year and when he found out what happened to his son and what's going on with him and he stuck with us and uh, we just, it kind of brought us together, uh, made us closer than we already are and uh, you know, every time we huddle up we say Max and he's another reason why we play and he's another reason why we pray. Nobody in our gym is dealing with it as much as he is, but it's two hours away. And you know the fact that he can get two hours away, and then when we have games, the entire family's there. Cole's there, Max there, you know, Carrie's there. Um, it gives them all a little bit of time away from the thing they're dealing with, even though they're always constantly dealing with it. Before he was the Randy coach and a national champ at the University of Maryland, Taj Holden was a Red Bank Regional Buccaneer. His alma mater hosted a doubleheader on Saturday, with all the proceeds going to Max Strong, the fund that helps the Holden family with their mounting medical expenses in Max's cancer battle. Three years ago when uh, all these guys were like freshmen, they played in our Buck Classic. And I told Taj, anytime you guys want to come here, we'll be a neutral site if we ever do a doubleheader. And then when they talked about, you know, having the Asbury Park game moving here, we jumped on it. It's been overwhelming at times, you know. Sometimes my wife and I just sit back and say, wow, we have a great community around us. And RBR is definitely a big part of that. And everybody who, um, you know, came out today and supported us has been, have been great as well. On the sidelines, Coach Holden is stoic, but he is most appreciative of the support his family has received from the entire community, and most importantly, his Randy team. The Randy community and uh, the basketball community and everyone's been so helpful, and we're just extremely grateful for everyone who's contributed to Max and uh, helped the Holden family. And um, you know, I'm extremely to, proud of Coach Todd. I'm an honor to have him as my coach. And I know he's going through a lot, but he continuously comes to practice, continuously shows up to games, and. Um, is focused when it's time to put that ball in the air. In Little Silver, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.